And public transportation isn't the number one method many people choose to get around in the Bryan College Station area, but for many, it's the only way they can get where they need to go. Yeah, and the Brazos Transit District is one of those services and is facing some funding difficulties. KX HD News reporter Chris Costa shows us how riders feel about the current system and what they think needs to be done to get it fixed. Riders on the Brazos Transit District want change, not money. But more buses. Jeremy Freeman doesn't have a car, so he relies on the bus to get around town. I just think this is a central uh, mode of transportation for a lot of people. Like, like she said, she's going to work, or people go to doctor's visits. A lot of people depend on this on everyday, uh, everyday thing for them. Thank you. With about 2,000 buses serving Bryan and College Station, an average trip can take more than 90 minutes each way. But neither the state nor federal governments have increased the district's funds since 2006, even to account for inflation bringing the idea of adding buses to a stop. I feel like we need some more buses to where it can maybe, if not run every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes, yes. We would be able to put a more frequent service out there that would serve more people. Two of the biggest complaints from riders are that there's no weekend service and there aren't enough buses, two services that the organization can't provide without some additional funding. They, they, they do get very frustrated. And when you explain to them that we're sorry, we only have a certain amount of money and we can only do a certain amount with what we do. That, that, that just really never satisfies anybody. The lack of funds also prevents the district from replacing old buses or building new passenger shelters. They're lacking on a lot of things, things that they need. They definitely need more shelters. That's definitely, in the whole city, I've only seen three. The bright side, the district could see more state funding if the Texas House and Senate approve TxDOT's new budget in 2015. In Bryan, Chris Costa, KAGS HD News. TxDOT is partially responsible for funding the district and has asked the state government to add $15 million to their budget over the next two years.